evidence has emerged that ISIL or other groups ordered the attack. Muslim Americans continue to report rising acts of Islamophobia in the aftermath of the Paris and San Bernardino attacks and increased anti-Muslim sentiment on the campaign trail. A Muslim store owner in Queens, New York, said he was beaten by an attacker who reportedly said, quote, I kill Muslims. Other incidents include racist hate speech directed at two Muslim women in an Austin cafe and a group of boys punching a Muslim girl in New York and pulling on her hijab. At a rally on Wednesday against Donald Trump's call to ban Muslims from entering the United States, Khalid Latif of the Islamic Center at New York University said anti-Muslim racism today could be even worse than after 9-11. As these voices speak unchecked, we see a rise in anti-Muslim sentiment that is arguably worse than even the backlash experienced immediately after September 11th. They give rise and justify to those who in the recent weeks have burned down and vandalized mosques all over this country, who have pushed down women wearing headscarves onto train tracks, shot cab drivers, and even in our own city validated for three young men their beating of a sixth grade Muslim girl in Harlem as they punched her, beat her, tried to rip the scarf off of her head, and called her ISIS over and over and over. That is not okay. We have to be better. Better than that. Hi, I'm Amy Goodman. I want to thank you for tuning in to Democracy Now! We are so grateful to our fans and followers for being a part of the daily conversation. By choosing a news source that's committed to the truth, you're carrying the message of independent media, reaching hundreds of thousands of people every day. In these times of war and elections, we need a media not sponsored by corporations that profit from war, but a media that's truly independent, funded by you. Democracy Now! is not paid for by the weapons manufacturers, the insurance industry, or the oil, gas, coal, or nuclear companies. We don't take advertising or corporate underwriting dollars. That means we rely on your donations to make our daily independent news hour possible. We need your support today to keep bringing you the hard-hitting, in-depth reporting you've come to expect five days a week. Visit democracynow.org, or you can call 888-999-3877. That's 888-999-3877 to make your holiday gift to Democracy Now! today. Thanks so much for sharing Democracy Now! stories all year long.